Yeah, to my eyes, I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect, all of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect, I used to hand out CDs before they were black. Wow, she love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at that high. Hey. Full L step team, stepping on shit till it's quiet. He brought me the money sealed up, I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the bank. Telling her open the same. Guys, look at my outfit. Good morning. <laughs> look at my outfit. I've layered. Sorry. I layered this, this, this. If I take a picture, I'm gonna show it over so you can see the beauty of what I did. Cause even I am shook by what I did. There's some boxes to my right, so I don't want to go out too far because then you'll see what a mess <laughs> it is. But then I got my chunky boots on. Girl, my only problem is that the skirt has a really high slit, but I have on tights. I have on some tights. I could not find my stockings because I would have thrown the stockings on as another layer. But yeah, it's cold outside, but it's not that cold. I don't like to wear so many layers, but best believe... This is so cute. All right, let's go. Meeting Monica and we're gonna go to the mall. Not the mall, we're gonna go to the museum. I just did the quickest makeup look. I need to text that young lady. I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna text her on my way to the car because I keep forgetting and every day it pop. Where's my phone? <laughs> my phone is not in my room. Where is my phone? Right here, so. I need to text her. So it's 11.21. It's going to take me 48 minutes to get to Monica. And it's going to take us a while to get to the museum. But... Yeah, I just love Monica's apartment. Monica's apartment is nice. It is nice. We're in Brooklyn. So we're going to take the train. And I'm already feeling really hot. I'm already feeling really hot because I have on so many layers. Um, so let me pull up the train stuff. I screenshot a couple gas stations. Don't judge me. <laughs> a couple gas stations that were cheap. So I made sure to screenshot it because I was checking the price as I was driving because gas is expensive. And look at my baby. I screen recorded that too. So when I go off to training and I can't talk to him or he can't talk to me, I could just replay our videos. Cause I'm weird like that. Anyways, see me here rambling. Let's pull up where we're going. We're going to the Modern Museum of Art. There's one in Queens, but we're going to the one in Manhattan. Ooh, it's so pretty our directions and we're gonna take the train so that's walking to the a and then a or the c and then getting on the d or getting on the f or getting on the e 50 minutes of travel <laughs> guys look at monica Hi. it's been a minute I'm, a, I'm gonna pop up the video that you last saw monica in and if you haven't watched that video then go check it out period but yeah we're going to the museum. Monica's already looking like art. Like, Crying. Don't boost my head, cause you know it's gonna get boost. Ooh. Ew. See, that's how you know I'm not used to cameras, cause why am cause I looking up? Like, <laughs> it's right here. Yup. Sorry. All right, let's Super go. Star. Ooh, me? Yes, you. You already know. We are in Manhattan. Chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I need to take off the timer. <laughs> We are confused. We don't know where to go. But it's very big. It looked tiny outside, but it's big on the inside. We got six floors? That's crazy. Anyways, make sure and I like up the video. Oh, so this is where we were, the, the entrance. Because remember I showed you guys. I showed you all that earlier. Here is a beautiful painting. Oh my god. It's oil on canvas. It's so nice. So, so nice. I took some amazing pictures of Monica. I'm going to show you what those look like. We're in another exhibit now, guys, and this looks really... I guess, you know, I can speak about this. This one does look sad. That. It looks like someone's angry. What do you get from it, Monica? What, what are the emotions? Honestly, I get agony. Agony? Wow. Yeah guys, this is really cool. So we're in another room. This one looks really, really cool. Just some big metal blocks. It's giving. You guys should come and check out the MoMA. It's worth every penny with the student ID. <laughs> guys, I don't know if any of you ever learned about this picture, but it was a really, really popular picture taken back in the 30s of a mom and her starving kids. Yeah, the 30s. But it captured so much emotion. I learned about it in middle school. But yeah, as you can see in the bottom left, that's the artist's name. She's long gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, but. We are finished. Done, though. Done. We're gonna go find a bar or some type of lounge somewhere to just get a drink for the road. Um, yeah. Shot, 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 shot.
been a long time guys tell me why i left a comment on someone's tiktok oh my god my battery's about to die i might have to share the story with you tomorrow but yeah i left a comment on the tiktok talking about how you know the jamaican establishment for a business need to listen to customers when customers complain because that can only better your business especially if it's bullied by people complaining somebody got comment on that but oh when it's not your culture you can you shouldn't speak on it i'm like last time me check it is my culture and the girl will create the video so why people feel like people can't speak on something ex especially when it's constructive criticism yo some people are so simple-minded anyways that is it <laughs> i'll see you guys later <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going to film a TikTok video, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of that video. I already set up the camera, I already have my like luggage, it's for a flight attendant thing, so yeah, alright, that's not bad. Hey, I'll be heading to flight attendant training next week, and I would love if you help me pick out an outfit for day one. I have my carry-on right here. I'm planning on bringing one check bag. We're allowed up to five check bags. I'm gonna throw some outfits together because I think I'm gonna be all over the place if I keep going on like this. All right, so I'm gonna throw the outfits together like I said. Oh, this lighting is nice. I put on a little bit of makeup because the face was looking very washed out. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to wash my hair as well. My hair is so greasy, like, it's weighed down by oil. I use oil to oil my scalp, and that was a no-no. Anyways, the people that are waiting on me, I want to post this video tonight so they can help me. They can have a week, over a week, to help me pick an outfit. Ultimately, though, I'm going with an outfit that I feel comfortable in, that I really like. But, yeah, let's go. Hey. A couple of hours later, I'm heading down to the gym because we have to put in 30 minutes of walking and I have to do my lower body. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Got my water, my phone, AirPods, and I'm ready to go. I can't remember where I left off last night, but I'm going to take out some chicken to thaw out and I might go on the road today. I need to get these, oh, I need to get my earrings at least loosened because um, the jewelry that I have in for them is a pain. So even if I can get this one out and this one loosened, that'd be perfect because I can't wear these type of earrings in training i can wear like earlobe earrings but not tragus and not upper cartilage so that sucks but it is what it is um one of the interviewers yeah one of the the recruiters um gave me an advice on what to do with regards to my piercings if i don't want them to close up while i'm training so that was very nice of her and i'm gonna follow her advice um it is tuesday it's tuesday yeah that's all i wanted to say i'm gonna try to go to the gym earlier today but i feel like the gym is paying off the walking is paying off i do the 12 that's what i left off the gym i left off the gym i do 12 3 30 or at least i try to get as close to those numbers as possible and i'm gonna explain what they are so the 12 is um the 12 is the incline which i probably get to a 12 incline because i haven't done this in a long time i get to a 12 incline probably in the last five minutes of the workout but in the last 
10 to 15 minutes i do uh anywhere from a 10.5 to 11.5 incline and then the three is the speed normally i do anywhere from 2.5 to 2.8 and then in the last five minutes i'll do three because i'm trying to build myself back up to that and then 30 is 30 minutes so 12 incline speed of three for 30 minutes it kills it helps so much with burning off extra fat so that's what i've been doing yeah um chat is calling me oh my hair stay tuned for that <laughs> honestly sorry when he gets a call from chad he went to go pick up my passport for me because me never dog a pay no wallet for money forget the passport in a no short time um i just renewed well i got i renewed my jamaican passport um yeah so he called me when i was there getting the new passport I was like somebody is coming to pick this up i won't be here what do i need because mind you know on the website the web I'm up on the website right now the website said the official receipt which he does have because must still put everything together a letter from the applicant giving permission to collect his or her passport which i emailed chad a letter and i signed the letter and his valid like the person's valid photo identification right so me being me because you know only part time you read things and you hear things um from jamaican offices and when you go and an a cycle so when i was there i was like what do i need what me need let me know what me need and they told me you also need a form um so i was all right with a form like the person gave me a form and when we read through the form i don't have the form with me now but what i remember from the obviously try to have the form what i remember from the form it says um i needed to fill out such and such information and this needs to be like certified by a jp you know when you got a jp them off know you them see you you you, you go and the jp look upon you and your id and the jp look upon the person and say yes this is such and such person whatever sign stamp and seal so <coughs> excuse me tell me why now chad is there to pick up my passport them I tell him him can't pick it up because they're gonna need my ID. Why did y'all not say this? And what's the point of using a JP to certify who I am? Who I am if you're gonna ask for my ID. Why is it not on the website? Why did such person didn't tell me that you're gonna also need this? Yo, them so man like so backwards but i give credit where credit is due of all the agencies all the offices government institutions in jamaica passport office to me runs the smoothest that's just been my experience um them run the smoothest so <sighs> one step forward no two step forward one step back i'm telling you the truth that was just what it is it's just it's very annoying um yeah like it would have been nice for me to be there to pick it up because it is mine um but if we follow what you tell us to do and it's still not enough when the time comes like what what is your goal like no wonder things are backed up because uno just not sharing appropriate information like policies across the system it's not consistent with the employees so like come kill my spirit you see my skin a glow come kill my spirit i need to drink some tea because we don't have no water so i've just been drinking tea well we have no, i'm gonna drink tap water i'm not about but i'm gonna drink tap water i just don't don't like the taste um and i'm paranoid i'm gonna be the first to say it i am paranoid um yeah so that's that um bye i'll come back when i'll tell you guys a little bit more about my hair this is gonna be a long vlog and i really hope you guys enjoy it, enjoy it. back again i can't remember the rest of the song not right now at least um i'm still here I'm in the Facebook group for flight attendant training and a lot of people are getting emails and I'm starting my week 
my um weekly vlog for training tomorrow because tomorrow will mark officially one week from the first well day zero so i shouldn't even be talking about this right now but i'm so excited and i just keep refreshing and everybody's like my flight that time my city flight time my time flight i'm like refresh refresh but i'm expecting mine to come with it within this hour within this hour because i realized that's when my when did my last email come let me check the time of my last email yeah it came within this hour that i'm in i need to take the meat to thaw what am i doing on here talking bye i'll see y'all later i'll see you guys later tonight but well, officially i'm ending off the video right here only because like i said i'm starting another video tomorrow so i don't want to keep rambling and i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna prepare some food to cook for dinner and that's really it so make sure you like comment share subscribe and i don't know i'll see you guys in the next flight attendant video at this point i'll be at least a good two weeks maybe three depending on when this one comes out weeks into training and i'm really excited so bye good morning actually it's after one it's 1 11 right now good afternoon i'm gonna head to the gym earlier than usual because i realized i've been going to the gym late and that's been keeping me up at night and i need to get back into a good routine for training and i'll be heading off to training soon and i have exactly a week until day zero several hours later this is my gym outfit Woo! it's just because the gym in the basement is always empty so can do what i want do what i want but normally it's cold so when my body starts to warm up, that's when I take my hoodie off. Um, and I'm doing leg day, so that's why I wear my shorts. Anyways, let's go. always get a teriyaki triple because it's so good so i'm gonna try the steamed steamed shrimp and pork dumplings and i'm gonna get oh fried chicken dump girl okay we're gonna get fried chicken dumplings and steamed dumplings Let's see. i'm gonna order the what i want first pick up how long uh 15 minutes already 15 minutes okay thank you very much thank you bye if you are jamaican from the caribbean if you know you know if you know you know i'm not sure if, about other caribbean islands to be honest but if you are jamaican you know i got some cake soap so I'm only gonna bring one um, just to wash out anything because when you have so many people in your class sharing a hotel um, we don't have roommates by the way but when you have so much people in the hotel and the hotel only have one maybe even two washing machines it's still gonna be very inconsistent so I'm gonna need something to hand wash um, my underwear and maybe even a shirt or two um i know how to wash up pants too so if i if it needed to be washed it can be washed and i'll just hang it up in my room um yeah so that's that and then i'm gonna pack my lounge clothes and my business casual clothes and my shoes um yeah i can show you guys the shoes So this is what I plan to wear um, for graduation and on the line, at least for the first couple months. Then maybe I'll get Clark's, but I got these at, I think I got them at JCPenney. Yeah, definitely 
back to my JC Penny. And they're very comfy. Well, no, I lied. They're not very comfy. Um, but they're very manageable. The only thing is, like, when you're walking far in a terminal, like, if you're walking from gate, gate 3 to gate 33, then, yeah, of course, these are going to feel like hell. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to keep it 100. Um, but if I'm just walking to class or if I can get there early and walk slow to the terminals and to the different gates in the terminals, then I'll be fine. Um, yeah, I wear eight and a half. This is a nine. It did run small and the brand is called Worthington. Yeah, Worthington. So yeah, it's cute. It does the job and I'm going to eat. And if anything, I'll see you guys tomorrow um, before my conference call. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I'm just kidding. I just have to go. <laughs> so I'm in the conference call now and I'm listening to the Q&As. I have a question, but I figure I can just wait because it's Marie. I read thoroughly everything on Facebook. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm still in here. Reading is key. A lot of people don't know how to read and these questions are showing it and I don't want to be judgmental oh I know I'm judging right now and I hate it um but a lot of these questions are really crazy <laughs> able to get into I don't know if I talked about it but for some reason a lot of us couldn't log in to the platform last night so I was finally able to do that um simplest thing simplest thing but someone figured it out and helped all of us which was absolutely amazing so I started doing some of my what is it called I'm so sorry morning brain I started doing some of my orientation information that's just what I'm calling it. Um, and it's taking a while. It's taking a while. It's going by quick, I'm not going to lie. Some of them are going by quick. But overall, it's taking a while. I completed a couple of them. And I have, like, some other ones that are just, like, two hours long. So, I'm working on that. I do want to get it finished today. What is that? Oh. I do want to get it finished today. Um, like, before noon. Before noon, we could always not do until next week. I just want to get it out the way. I want to start studying. Um, well, I've already started studying, but I want to, like, all the things that are in there that I, I'm not 100% good on, I want to work on those. So, yeah, when you get it, if you're watching this, you're in the process. When you get your packet for whichever airline, um, then you'll understand you know just certain things you want to study and make sure you absolutely know me and airport codes were this good me and airport codes why is it not focusing sometimes my camera be hating on me me and airport codes are this good like you could shoot out airport code and i know it atl atlanta um buenos aires easy e um, Frankfurt, F-R-A, <laughs> or M-I-A, Miami, F-F-L, Fort Lauderdale, E-W-R, New York. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying it so aggressively, but I'm proud, I feel good and accomplished that I am 100% good on those codes that they gave us. I just need to work on my abbreviations and my terminology, yeah, which the orientation is helping with, so... And then it's so much better when the orientation is going into detail with the terminology. So, you know, like you're just studying like, for example, um, CPR. So, you know, CPR is like the compression, bringing somebody back to life, whatever, the correct terminology of that. And then you'll read it 
but when you see like you know physical videos or when you see it being applied i guess there's a way um there's a thing that they call i'm sorry i'm gonna make this quick but what is it called when you apply something in theory and god i'm gonna have to google this real quick because it's not gonna get me it's not gonna get me today theory versus practice would it be practice i guess i don't know yeah practice and theory so like when you're reading the definitions versus when you can apply the definitions to a movement or to some action or to a concept if that makes sense it's so much better to actually memorize what you're reading um yeah all right i'm about to go to the gym and i'm gonna do my hair today i don't think i'm gonna show that on youtube but i'm gonna film it for tiktok so if you have not been following me on tiktok make sure you go over there i'm gonna pop it up on the screen so you can see what my tiktok is looking like i have a mixture of lifestyle travel and like just get ready with me talking videos um yeah and i hope you enjoy so i'll see you when when i see you <laughs> good morning i'm heading to the laundry mat with my mom um because i have a ton of clothes to wash um that i want to bring with me into training um we have an in-unit washer dryer um but for some reason and we're not the only people in the apartment that's been having this problem the dryer just does not work Good night. I'm watching Invisible City. Season one was good. Um, it was actually it was really good. Season two is not so much. There's some things that I picked up that I don't too like about how they're telling these stories. Um, but I finally got my flight information and I'm so excited. So I'm just coming on here to share with you. I got my flight information and uh it's an early flight and i need to be in the airport like at least an hour and a half two hours before my flight and it's early like early 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 which i'm really really excited about because i wanted to reach early i'll be able to see mommy before i leave um oh i'm so excited like that it feels real now that i actually have a flight i finished all my modules so i'm just chilling and like i said earlier we're just gonna go to walmart tomorrow and get some stuff i'll show you real quick um in my notes this is my walmart trip mm, hold on sorry guys this is my walmart trip notes all these things i'm gonna get from walmart and honestly it's really not a lot a lot of these things are really small like deodorant toothbrush lotion or well, lotion i got big <laughs> but the toothpaste you know cold and flu pills benadryl um advil tylenol if i can get any over-the-counter antibiotics vitamin c packets um tide pods an adapter not adapter i should have put extension cord because i'm gonna need to charge my laptop my phone work devices etc etc um i need new i need some new panties so i'm just gonna get the pack of them from walmart love victoria's secret but i don't know i feel like not that i'm growing out of victoria's secret absolutely who could ever grow out of victoria's secret and like you know sexy underwear but i just want some granny panties let's be real um bleach wipes just so i can clean up after myself um because i think housekeeping well based on other people's videos housekeeping come once a week so that would be you know beneficial for me to have contact solution i need a white tooth i need to um spell check some of these why am i the only person having a problem with iphone spell check because sometimes like why is it wife tooth comb like get the memo if i pressed f by accident autocorrect it to d 
anyways <laughs> rambling so i'm gonna finish watching this and i'm gonna edit another youtube video that you should have seen by now i'm gonna pop up the thumbnail on the screen so make sure you check out that video and i'll see you guys in the morning on my way to walmart As y'all just saw, I picked up quite a few things already. I had no idea that things at the supermarket, in-store locations were so expensive. Like, be for real. Why is lotion $19? $19? Like, crazy. I'm gonna wear this open for now. Crazy. But I'm gonna find some cheaper alternatives. I'm gonna also pin up my hair. My roots are kind of puffy, but like it's not as frizzy in person. But I do wanna, I do wanna pin it off in my face for a minute. And it dropped from yesterday, which I absolutely love. Okay. I'm still on a budget because um, I still have to go buy two pairs of jeans and if you know anything about jeans you know jeans aren't cheap to buy so I'm trying to find a lotion under five dollars four dollars what do you think about the prices I'm crazy I tell them one lotion up there says nineteen dollars. Nineteen. This is um four dollars. It's it's from Jergens, but I don't like. I mean, I don't know. Let me smell it. Oh Jesus! And I'm trying on these black bootcut pants. I should have showed you the pants in Banana Republic, but I also found this skirt. Oh my God! I'm about to be wearing the skirt all the time during training. And it comes with a belt. It was so cute. It was nice. I got a really good sale. It's still pricey. But for the price of one regular price jeans, less than one regular price jeans, I got $53. So it's $53. This was originally $70. And this was originally... It was originally $80. So I think that's really good. Really good. So we're going to see... This is 30% off um, the price and I think I'm going to put my email in and try to sign up for like um, notifications and get an extra 10%. So you got to think smart, not hard. Yeah. <laughs> a.m. I leave in two days two days um, to go to flight attendant training and I am oh my god I'm so happy that I'm nervous but I'm I don't have the same nervousness that I was having like last week and a couple weeks ago where it was nervous about being late nervous about failing i feel very reassured i feel blessed and i'm speaking that into my life um one thing i need to do more because i'm having periods of praying and then periods of forgetting to pray i have a low battery right now so i'm gonna make this part quick but um, I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed and highly favored and loved and I have a praying family and I have praying friends so I know whatever it is I will overcome and I'm grateful to God and yeah and I'm up really early so I don't I don't know why <laughs> but we have to film the um, pack with me part of the video like tomorrow today tomorrow and the haul from yesterday so i'll see you guys later Ooh, 
all right so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm packing or this is gonna be like a little pack with me section i'm not gonna go all out because i do want to film some for tiktok and yeah basically everything from this bag so honestly all of this all of this a box of tea that i'll be bringing with me um i actually have three boxes let me grab them and then i'll show you i have this peppermint tea green tea and then i have some ginger tea yeah i'll also be bringing a mug with me tea cup no a mug Good morning guys, it's a day before my flight, um, I'm a bit stuffed up because of the weather change, <laughs> because of the weather change, because it's getting warm outside, but it's, you know, sometimes it's cold inside, colder inside than it is outside, it, I hate that about warm countries sometimes, but the heat is also on, um, so then all the weather, all the temperature changes is really getting to me, anyways, I've finished packing my carry-on, which is over here, and I've started to pack my personal item. I have a woolly pass face, my personal item. I need to pack this pile. I have three items that I might not carry, like the gray, orange, and pink. I might not carry those, but they're in my maybe, but I need to pack these. Um, I have my skincare stuff that needs to get packed, uh, and I have some gym things that needs to get packed, and then that's it that's really it my underwear as well is in that bag right there and then that's it i have a lot of pad i've explained those already and you know just the tide pods and the containers i can break down my tripod and put in my personal items so that's no problem i've already packed up all my shoes that i'm gonna carry in the carry-on um and yeah, I have my clothes set aside that I'm going to wear. Um, I even packed up some of my flashcards. This is going to go in my personal, my personal bag. Yeah, because I already packed up the other ones. So we're good on that end. Going to finish packing before tonight. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> but I'm also going to go to the jewelry place because the piercing. Because I need to get the earrings out. When I went yesterday there their piercer wasn't there and then i called another location and the piercer was meant to show up but the other person didn't so i'm really hoping that they do because girl then me and mommy are gonna have to find somewhere like drive to another jewelry location and get it out <sighs> um yeah that's it that's all i really wanted to update you it is currently nine what twelve three minutes after nine so bye update so um my suitcase is all packed the only thing that's not packed in my suitcase yet is my underwear i'm gonna pick out which panty and bra i'm wearing tomorrow oh my god you guys are a little bit lean and that's giving me ptsd let's just yeah 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 <laughs> um my suitcase it's not giving to me from my experience in lifting heavy suitcases, overweight suitcases, it's not giving, it's not giving 40, it's not giving 40, but it's not giving 52 either. And if you know, you know. So I think, I think it's right at 50. If anything, it is right at 52. Um, I can lift it up with one hand. It does start to get heavy. So I, I know it's, I know it's over 50. And if that be the case, I have space in my personal bag, even though I don't really have space in my personal bag. I have space, like, girl, I can hold this in my hand. Um, and I can just stuff some stuff. Like, I can stuff two things that I think are, are heavy in here, and I, I think I shall be fine. I shall be, okay. 
The next thing that I have that I want to show you guys is my carry-on, which my carry-on is super heavy, but I definitely packed it to the brim. Uh, but it's more than okay. I love traveling with a carry-on. I just like the security of having at least a couple outfits, um, some shoes, you know, some things that I can wear that I'll be fine. But it definitely is, it is heavier than your average carry-on. And then I have this little bag that I always just slap on top of my personal item. It it fits, it fits. That's all that we care about, if it's. I always carry it on top of my personal bag. And that's really it. Um, I've called the tattoo and piercing place and their piercer is in. So I'm gonna have my earrings removed that I didn't get to remove yesterday. The only thing, she's saying it's $10 for a removal. So I'm like, that's absolutely crazy. I wanna swear, I wanna say that's absolutely crazy with a capital F for ten dollars to remove an airing like the only reason why I'm even getting it um removed by them is only because it's it's tight it's not stuck it's not in no crusty looking dusty looking situation it's not stuck up in my actual skin it's just the jewelry is tight good night guys I um a couple hours later from the last time we spoke and I'm gonna actually put you on the table. I'm excited. Tomorrow is day zero. Tomorrow is the day I fly into training. Tomorrow is the day I leave my home and go to a new location for all of six weeks. So this video is coming to an end. Um, I will, you know, record as much as I can tomorrow. But obviously, like I've been saying, probably a lot I won't be able to show you I'm super excited if anything I'll catch some videos and some pictures on my phone and I'll show y'all but I'll definitely get um, recordings of me in the airport heading off to training let me know if you're going off to training soon let me know how you're feeling let me know what your timeline is like let's talk if I can give you any advice I definitely will or if I can pr point you in the right direction I definitely will so I will see you guys in the morning when we are heading out to the airport. Bye.